Hello, and welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. Uh-oh, what if you're in a test uh, situation, and you are called upon to factor the difference of cubes? In this instance, x cubed minus 1. Oh, what is it in factored form? Oh, I remember it's something like, oh, there's an x over here and a 1 over here. And then there's a, a, an x squared, and then there's an x, and then there's a 1. So I, uh, I remember there are a couple of x's, and that x squared has to be there, and it has to be 1. So let the 1 times the 1 will give that 1. But I don't know what the signs in between each term are. Is this a minus or a plus over here? Oh, is this a plus or a minus? Or is this a plus or a minus? Or, wait a minute, is there even a 2 in front of these? Is there like a 2x or a 3x? What about a coefficient? I can't remember the factored form. Oh, no, and i got to do it to pass the test. Oh, well, uh, luckily, we got a little uh, of a trick that may help. We bring arithmetic to the rescue by using an actual cubed number. I am going to use 216. Remember that 216, that equals 6 cubed. So in place of that uh, horrible x cubed, we're now going to have whatever the positive cube root of 216 is, so that's just a 6 cubed minus 1. So 216 minus 1 is all that is, which is uh, 215. And if you divide that by 5 very readily, because it ends in 5, equals uh, 43 times 5. You're probably wondering, so what? How is this helping? Great, I just found the 2 prime factor of, of 2 and a 15. Well, those factors 43 and 5 are very key. I'm going to remember them. I'm just going to erase this to make room for 43 times a 15. Except I'm going to call it, uh, I'm just going to reverse them, 5 times 43. Ah, there's our help. We, we let x equal 6, because 6 cubed is that 2 into 16 that we had earlier. Again, remember that 2 into 16, just going to kind of write it off to the side over here. 5 is 1 less than 6. 6 is our x, so aha! The sign in here has to be a minus, x minus 1 for our first factor, so that 6 minus 1 gives us that 5. Well, as for 43, well, we need to just express this in terms of 6's, which is our x. And for our uh, x squared, oh, well, 6 squared is uh, 6 uh, times 6, which is 36. Well, we need to get up to 43, and we have two more terms to do it. Let's add the 1, or do we subtract a 1 or what? we got to go from 36 to 43 using an x and a 1. Up, oh, x equals 6, so we're just going to add a 6 to a 36 to get 42. And then from 42 to 43, we must add the 1. Or 1, so there's our uh, 43. And we had our 5 from x minus 1. Since we added this 6, and go from 36 to 42, hmm, that must therefore be a plus. 36 plus 6 is 42. And then add one more to get from 42 to 43. So those must be our proper signs. The quantity x minus 1 is multiplied by this polynomial, quantity x squared plus x plus 1. And this indeed, with a big sigh of relief, is correct because if you were to do the multiplication, a lot of terms drop out. The first and second degree x terms are canceled and you have your difference of cubes, x cubed minus 1. So, thanks to 2 into 16, taking 1 from it, 2 into 15, prime numbers. So, only one way to factor that, otherwise it might have had other numbers and we're not able to figure out X. Thanks for viewing.